guys welcome back to my channel i know i'm up and close and personal and as you can see i have a little zit right here we'll have one that's currently trying to this is a dark mark from a post in uh post inflammatory hyperpigmentation and uh, what do we have what else do we have we just have well nothing really major just a little pimple there here i was trying to come up but i had i already dealt with it i have one that was coming one that is here this is like a dark spot now and i have like a few little pimples or little white heads that wanted to come out right through here so i have to go ham with my exfoliation routine hydrating routine so you know it's summer so i'm expecting all of this to happen now but what are we going to do today why am i so up close and personal in the camera it's because we're going to do skin and when i say skin i don't mean like skincare i mean like makeup like but skin like makeup like summertime makeup all right so if this is what you want to see continue watching and don't forget to like and subscribe yeah so the first thing that i'm going to be doing is i'm going to go in with this this is my claire's supple preparation toner this is the claire's supple preparation toner okay and i just really want to try it out all right good so then we're going to use this onto our cotton pad uh i'm not using it like on a daily basis i just decided I'm, i wanted to use it yeah it was already open all right here what so as you can see now we are taking the clears supple preparation toner and i'm just applying it all over the face this is what we're doing Today we're going to be trying some Japanese makeup, some Japanese makeup. I'll show you after or I'll give you a little clip, but we're going to be trying some Japanese makeup today or some Japanese, just some Japanese item, not really makeup per se, but just some items that I got from YesStyle, like Japanese stuff. I'm going to show you. In a separate clip so you can see so i'm just going to use this this is like a lip cream and i'm just going to apply that to my lip so it's just basic basically a lip hydrator keeps your lip nice and hydrated in the nights in the mornings in the days and so forth so i'm going to get some of this midnight blue drop clears midnight blue i'm activating drops i'm going to take some oh we have to hurry just going to apply that mainly on the cheek area. Good. Okay, I think I can add some to the forehead too. Just a little bit. And this just helps with hyperpigmentation and it also hydrates and gives the skin more elastin. And then the next thing we're going to go in with is more is my um eye serum from the ordinary caffeine solution good and then use my fingers to blend it in whoa i think i applied a lot oh my gosh and because it's summer we're not going to go in too crazy with the um moisturizer because we went in with a hydrating toner i also went in or we're going in with the um eye serum and then the next products we're product we're going to be using is our sunscreen yes this is a can make uv this is a japanese um sunscreen this is a can make um uv spf pa plus 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 foundation and i know my skin my skin is like pretty hydrated right now as you can see but i know my skin if i go in with too much moisturizer it's gonna be a little bit oily 
Mm. We're going to apply the sunscreen, guys. And I apply it a lot. Just because I really, really want to protect my skin under makeup. I'm going with a little bit more of the SPF on the forehead because we have to really apply a lot and this SPF is really hydrating you can see we're not playing with SPF guys we're applying a lot we don't play with the SPF all over even my eyes okay we'll let that just sink in so you see my face is like extremely hydrated just gonna let that sink in a bit and let it soak in like seasoning all right and then right as we okay so this is my skin as you can see how are we looking so it's just going to absorb and sink in. The SPF is just going to sink in a little bit more. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to wait because I can't wait. Okay. So what we're going to go in with now is going with this Japanese um lip. And you see, yes, this is it. This is lip and cheek. It's for your lip and the cheek. Yeah, I'll show you in another clip so you can have an idea. It says Kuchi Kuchi Bir Kuchu Kuchi Biru Biru Kuchu Biru Hapo Kuchu Biru Hapo It means lip and cheek in Japanese. Kuchu Biru Hapo Good. All right, so we're gonna apply it. Already swatched it. So we're going to apply some to the cheek. Because this is just Japanese style makeup. And this also has SPF. Alright. So we're just going to apply some first. Just to see the coverage. Good. And here. So this is supposed to be like a dewy type of makeup. You see that already? Nice and plump, right? Plump, Judy, and J Judy. Plump, juicy, and radiant. Just apply some of that. And we can also apply some to the lips. You can apply some to the lips if you want to. to. Add a little tint. So this is what it is looking like. My skin is just glowing. Oh my gosh. We're going in with our foundation. I'm going to be using this cushion foundation. The same one that I've been using. Okay, so I'm just going to take some to the areas where I want to like cover. So this is not going to be like makeup, makeup, makeup. Just covering the areas that I want to cover. Find the areas where I just want to cover a little bit. It's not going to be like makeup, guys. It's going to be like skin, like literal skin. So don't expect to see makeup, makeup, because it's not going to be like that. It's going to be literal my skin but better all right just add a little bit of that cushion foundation this is it and you see yeah this is it and adding a little bit to the areas of my face where it matters and i might go in with going with a little bit more of the apply some right here I might go in with a little bit more of the cushion foundation or concealer. Not co what am I talking about? I might go in with a little bit more of the blush. Okay, so I want to kind of cover here a little bit more. So I have to pat it extra. Okay, and my natural contour. Kind of want to cover that up too. All right okay guys so as you can see yes i'm kind of glad that the audio wasn't being recorded because i didn't really like the audio like the noise oh my gosh 
because guys you know it's hot i had like two fans running like oh my gosh but as you can see we're doing our brows and i am going in with this dark brown um eyeshadow and i mix it with a little a little bit of the black just so that it can give me a little bit more definition at the tail end guys i shaved my eyebrows but i think i went to i went in a little bit too much so my eyebrows look like it looks thin but maybe it's not going to look thin to you but i know my brows my brows are not this thin but i kind of shaved off a little bit at the bottom and i kind of shaped up the top portion because i want i always like like it when i get an arch yeah so that's the reason why i went in so now i'm going to use this here and as you can see that's a japanese character like kids character oh my gosh when i was used to teach i don't even remember what the character's name is but yeah japanese kids character whenever i'm when i was teaching in school like kids used to have that character all over their books and something i think it's no bikeyman no not bikeyman i don't remember the name of the character but i just used the brow shade and as you can see the beginning of the brows look more natural and i basically used it i don't know where this part of the clip was where i added my concealer but the concealer when i added it it was too light it was it wasn't supposed to be this light because i don't usually when i'm mixing my concealers i usually go in with a darker foundation shade but this time i don't know i, will, I just went in with a little bit too much of the fawn la girl in fawn so that's the reason why under the brows look a little bit bright but i think it's okay because at least it at least it is going to be a little bit a highlight for my brows yeah but because if I shave my brows, or when I shave my brows, I usually have a highlight. Anyway, because that area is shaved. Yeah. But I don't usually go in with such a bright concealer. So as you can see, we used the same brow, um, brow cream. And basically, it just gave me this natural look at the front. And also, it allowed my brows to look a little bit more. Or to stay a little bit longer in term in ter in terms in terms of like um um the brows not moving when the sun is you know pelting hot and so forth and i'm sweating and so forth brows doesn't move so as you can see we just went in with a little bit of fun for a concealer because my face is a little bit flat right now because i think that my foundation shade my foundation nowadays is a little bit darker so maybe i was maybe a little bit darker some time ago maybe a year ago or so and i think may that's mainly because i had severe hyperpigmentation so i think because i am doing a little bit better with my brightening ingredients and so forth it's helping me to get rid of my hyperpigmentation so i don't have to struggle trying to find the foundation shades because my mouth now is not as dark as it was and sometimes i feel as though i have a little bit of like melasma i'm not sure i'm not self-diagnosing but sometimes that's what, that's how i feel oh i'm going in my black opal invisible powder in uh, invisible yeah but as i was saying sometimes i feel like i have like, a little bit of melasma yeah and uh, I don't know or if it's not melasma it's um i have a little bit of what do you call that again eczema but i'm not self-diagnosing i wasn't diagnosed with any of that but based on my skin and sometimes like if i drink milk and if i drink certain stuff like drink and toothpaste also irritates my my skin i realize yeah it irritates around my mouth and so forth so i think yeah i have a little bit of eczema one uh, maybe i have a little bit of sensitive skin around my mouth area and my nose and uh, maybe i have a little bit of melasma i don't know but based on what i'm seeing but this is our black opal finishing powder in deep and i'm just going to use that to basically just like to pat in the foundation because even though this is a summer no makeup fresh face makeup all of that we do not want to have 
like like literal like wet skin because as soon as you go out in the sun it's just going to run off like my sister told me she did this wedding makeup and there are two makeup artists like she was there and then there was another and the makeup artist that did the some of the bridesmaids face during the, the wedding everybody's foundation was sweating off but my sister's foundation that she did on the like two individuals face it didn't sweat off so it's important to really set your makeup so as you can see this uh this hair this little can make lip and cheek thing it did an excellent job and i can't believe that it works over powder you know what i'm saying so it is the bomb and it just blended out really really nice um we just went with a little bit of foundation uh not foundation con uh, eyeshadow to the eye because we're going to go in with a can make uh liner this is an easy liner i used to use this liner while in japan like i used to use it to I used to use it and I used to wear a liner to school every single day, especially if I'm going to like a school that I don't know. In case that I don't know, I like to, you know, I like to look fancy, especially if I'm going out of town. I like to look fancy, like in terms of my face. Yeah, maybe not the dressing, but yeah, the face. Always, I always try to look, you know, to be myself. Because even though I'm teaching, I like to, I'm very, very, very much so into makeup so i like to you know do my little girly stuff you know what i'm saying yeah but the the liner i know this liner <laughs> even though you know yes that sent to me sent it to me but i know these makeup i know these makeup i used to use them on a regular so yeah so this is the uh the mask the maybelline mascara actually in japan they sell maybelline so i used to i used to buy maybe maybelline a lot of course it's a little bit more expensive but not super expensive but as you can see my two eyes are like you can see the improvements the lashes look a little bit more voluminous yes yeah, so i'm just adding a little bit of the pressed powder that has like i just used i didn't add anything to the brush just the powder to contour my nose a bit not contour contour so now i'm going to go in with the dhc this is the lip cream yes i never used to buy this when i was in japan because it was a little bit too expensive but it wasn't really expensive i was just like super super cheap i used to buy the the one with um with the menthol in it yeah i don't remember the name of it but i used to buy that one when i was in japan but this one is like very good it's very hydrating i think i'm going to use it tonight when i do my skincare routine and so forth and uh, i like it so i applied it before i put my makeup on and i'm applying it after i do my makeup then i just add a little bit of the lip and the lip and cheek to the middle portion just to give it a little bit of tint and then i'm gonna apply my lip gloss because i need it to be a little bit more shiny that's what I was saying in the video. So I'm going to add my Nika K gloss. And uh, that is almost it. Apply the gloss. That would be it. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of highlighter. After the highlighter. Yes, this is the Korean highlighter that I got. Um, with this highlighter though I'm realizing something this highlighter I have to add it to my cheeks and after adding it to my cheeks I have to add like a blush 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 a blush color like a contour shade I have to add it before my contour shade and then add my contour shade on top of it so that it doesn't give me a hue okay well at least on camera because when the light is shining, it's giving me a little bit of hue. But I don't see it personally, but you will see it because of the bouncing light. Yeah. But this is it, guys. I'm looking so good, except for the brows. Okay, guys. So this is the finished face. And tell me what you think. It's very, very natural. Very summer-esque you know yeah and uh, just natural everything just my face feels light i feel as though i'm on cloud nine i feel like myself and i feel very very natural like uh, the naturalist naturalist 
the most natural um, looking makeup you can find on earth is on my face okay a joke no this is not a natural the most natural looking makeup you can find on earth i think you can the most natural looking makeup is the makeup that doesn't include any foundation just mascara and lip gloss okay but it's summer we have to glow up okay and we use a little bit of japanese beauty you know to create this natural face okay so i am really really loving it love how natural i feel i feel like a naturalista and uh, yeah i think i need to improve my bro game because it's been uh, it's been too long since i have you know really slid my brows but it's it's getting there and i kind of went and shaved my brows a little bit so i think i shaved out a little bit too much so this is the reason why it looks a little bit thin i don't know if it looks thin to you but it looks thin to me because my brows are not naturally like this you know what i'm saying my brows are thick and straight but i like it i like everything love the face very natural very natural looking and um i'm feeling myself i'm feeling myself but this video is so long so guess what we're going to shut up shut up and uh, end the video mega shut up myself shut up myself and uh, end the video okay shut up myself okay but this is it for us stay tuned for the next video okay i'll see you in the next one okay bye i'm gonna do a little bit of slow-mo because i'm feeling myself mm -hmm.